Hey everybody, Bandicoot Commando here, and welcome back to Rayman 3. Last time, we did more of Clearly Forest, and we fought our first boss, the Hood Stomper. And after having some fun with that, and also we discover the next power-up, the, the Shock Rocket, we're here at the doctor's office, but uh, we got some hoodlums to take care of. Uh, you've probably noticed this. This is a secret. Whoa. Very trippy. Alright, let's take care of the hoodlums hanging out here. I'll catch up in a bit. Let me just get the items here, and also I gotta be quiet for this cutscene, and... Oh boy, and I'm not done recording. I wanna be done recording and take a nap, because I'm kinda sleepy, but... No rest for me. Let's go. Well, let's see what we have here. If you don't mind. Ah. Ah, I see you swallowed a black lump. We will need to resort to drastic measures. Your problem is worse than I thought. You see, the black lungs has taken a refuge in a fistula by going through a kidney near a spare rib. You will need to consult a stomach specialist. I know a very good doctor who lives in the land of the living dead. I leave you now. I must go clean my instruments. Okay, we know what to do. He couldn't help out, but he knows a doctor who can help out. Here we go. Another light show. Let's see if I can earn enough points to redeem myself from... Oops. Oh, thanks for putting me here. Sometimes you'll encounter moving platforms, so don't panic. Oops. I don't want to miss those points. Oh, 
Oh, come on, no. Oh, there we go, thanks. Here it comes. Uh oh. We got we got thrown off course. And we got a bonus level. So, we're not where we're supposed to be. We were supposed to go to the land of the livid dead, but we are here in the Bog of Merc. So, uh, let's just see what we can do and see if we can find our way onward. I have to go file my taxes. Oh yeah, file your taxes. Mickey Mouse. The copter power. It does exactly what it says. It's your only way of flying in this game, but it doesn't last very long. It only lasts a, f a few seconds. So, use wisely. And don't be like me. I just wanted to see if I can get on top of that outhouse, but all right, let's let's actually get moving. Try not to fall into the water. The water is piranha infested. Laundry. Uh-oh. <laughs> get out, get out. I told you, water's piranha infested. If you stay in it for too long, you'll lose all your health. More laundry. Thank you. Alright, let's make our way. Let's make our way even further. And there. We're at we're we're at her house. Oh, I can get a free hit on her. There we go, free hit. All right, another boss fight. So to hurt, um, Bergalax, I think is how you say her name. It's named after a type of flower. Um, be sure to punch this liquid stuff in the cauldron at her to turn her into a toad, so you can easily catch up to her and hit her. Because she moves faster than she looks. Now you two can also get hit by this stuff and turn into a toad. 
just keep moving until it wears off. Uh-oh. No, no, please, no. Yeah, it doesn't work when she's going to do this charging attack. Uh-oh. No, please, no. She'll just kick you, I think, but just don't let her hurt you. No! No! My turn. All right, one more time. Uh oh. And one more hit, she'll do it. Okay. That takes care of that. I should say, the music that plays during the boss fight, it's only unique in the original PS2 version here. Uh, all other versions use a different arrangement. I should also say, the different arrangement actually is used in the PS2 version. It's used during this moment up here. Before we pick up the stuff... No, I won't have my way with you. I know what to do, just I want to pick up the stuff now. Yeah, very disturbing she is. First calls us out on being perverted, and then once we have her where we want her, she's now expecting us to do you know what. But I am not doing that. No. No thanks. I'm not devious like that. Uh, jump through the mirror to end the level. Alright, here we are. Okay, I know they're playing poker, but the back of their cards look more like Yu-Gi-Oh cards, so it makes me joke that they're actually playing Yu-Gi-Oh and not poker. Also, I'm just noticing... I'm literally just noticing the bottom of my screen. Has it always been like that? Like, not the bottom of my actual TV screen, but the bottom of the game screen. Has it always done that? Because it's not just showing on my TV. I can also see it through the recording program, but, eh, whatever. Oh. Ouch! <laughs> yeah, um, first let me move my mic away. Hey, no, you, go away. Don't bother me. I gotta sneak up and get the drop on these hoodlums who are trying to play a poker game, but I wanna make I wanna make more Yu-Gi-Oh jokes out of it. Uh 
Oh, yeah, again, poker, but... Poker, but like I said, they're back at the deck. Well, his card deck is glitchy now. See if I could get actually closer without it glitching. His deck keeps glitching out, but like I said, the back of their cards look more like the Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Especially the design they used for the anime. Alright, I gotta fight. Looks like you'll have to consider your duel a draw. Now, hoodlums on stilts are just called stumble booms, and it's quite easy how to get rid of them. I think there's a splash dash. Yeah, there's a splash dash or two. All right, we're going to need that to cross the way, and you'll notice that hoodlum up there. Uh, before, um, yeah, let me just get these stuff. I can use the lockjaw to defeat him and to show the purpose that I wanted to show where you can snag onto enemies and electrify them. All right, so this this hoodlum up ahead is known as a spinneroo. They have another name as well, but spinneroos. Help! The only way to defeat spinneroos are to basically, yeah, just keep punching them until you knock them into something like dangerous water or some kind of hazard I have to go wax my mustache But you don't look like you have a mustache All right, let's go Alright, not bad. Oh! Oh, well, alright. Uh, those creatures that that hoodlum was fighting are muddy bogs. Sometimes when you start, uh, the, the fight can go either way. Nine times out of ten, though, it's the muddy bogs that will win. Yeah, they throw rocks at you, so be careful. Oh, you guys are going to be stubborn little pricks, aren't you? There we go. I was wondering why my punches weren't working. So yeah, anytime you encounter muddy bogs, sometimes hoodlums will already be in the middle of fighting them. They usually take one hit to deal with. Uh oh. I have to go to my modern jazz class. There we go. I wanted to show something off. If you press select, you'll activate camera mode. Uh move the left stick and then Okay. And then press a photo by pressing R3. If you press um if you have something aim, I know there's a way you can, like, trigger. I know there's a way you could trigger, like, a humorous help message thing. Because. 
No, because my PS2 can no longer save pictures. I forgot how you trigger like an enemy description. I know you press select and then after it's selected you press like a button. Watch out for the muddy bogs. Alrighty. Spooky tree. You can punch the pir piranhas to get rid of them and uh, and score maybe a tiny bit of points, but. All right, let's get rid of these stumble booms. Yeah, sometimes hoodlums may accidentally shoot and hit one another. They're not very coordinated. You're floating. But I took care of that. Alright, I know we're... Oh, shit. Yeah, good thinking on my part without taking damage. Uh, before we go, there's a little area we can visit. Land on this boat, and then we just... Take a lonely ride out here to this tree where some gems are. There's some hoodlum airships in the distance. Uh, okay. Very lonely sounded music. All right, let's end the let's end this level. Nice, a hundred percent. All right, I'm gonna stop here though. That'll do for this episode of Rayman Three. Join me next time as we continue to travel through the Bog of Merc and try to find a way out so we can make our way to the land of the livid dead. So that is it, and I will see you guys next time.